Yo, Alex Delaney here in Cow Gardens, Brooklyn, on Court Street, in front of Court Street Grocers for another episode of One of Everything on the Menu. I'm gonna be eating sandwiches, like a ton of sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, cold cuts, combos, hot sandwiches, brazy meat sandwiches, everything you could think of between two slices of bread. But I'm not doing this by myself. I brought a guest along the way, Christina Che. You know her, you love her. She's gonna be helping me out to figure out what is the best thing on the menu at Court Street Grocers. Let's get to it. I don't deal super well when I'm hungry, and it is very obvious. You don't deal well with being hungry. How do you deal with being extremely full? Oh, well, I very purposefully wore <laughs> my overalls today because they have like a full like three inches. Oh, side. and there's like buttons that you can. I mean, that's extreme. I don't think we'll get there. This is an extreme kind of day. I'm just, you know, just warning you. We order from the Court Street in Manhattan. There's also one in Williamsburg. So each shop has certain things that you can only get at that shop. This shop has the biggest menu. And like the uh, name of the establishment would lead you to believe, it is also a grocery. Eggs, milk, pantry staples. Beautiful pastry case. Beautiful pastry case, coffee. They do their own sodas, which are very good, and I hope we're drinking some later. Oh, we are gonna drink some. We're gonna drink all. Okay. A couple questions for you. Yes. You've obviously been here before. Many a time. I thought there were like 15 sandwiches on the menu. That's what I thought I'd sign up yeah, for. Yeah, you were off by about 20. Do you know the rules of the show? I actually have no idea what the rules of the show are. Okay, one, we have to order one of everything on the menu. Two, we take one perfect bite of each thing. Three, it's up to us to decide how we move through the menu. And then four, once we've eaten everything, we give awards to the best sandwiches. May the best sandwich win. May the best sandwich win. All right, so the menu is broken into different categories. There are combos, cold cuts, fish sandwiches, hot sandwiches, I think they call them toasties. The toasty ones? The toasty ones. But it's not 10 o'clock yet. I think we start with breakfast sandwiches, right? I'm very excited. Okay, let's start with some breakfast sandwiches. Okay, so we have five sandwiches. These are all breakfast sandwiches. You can tell by the egg. What is your preferred breakfast sandwich meat? I do egg and cheese. Just egg and cheese. I do egg and American. So should we start with the plain? Also, before we get into these, to note, four of the five are on Balthazar. Balthazar, we filmed an episode there. Uh, ciabatta. Which, frankly, I love. Love. This one is pretty simple. It's egg, it's like white cheddar, yeah. and arugula. And arugula. On ciabatta. Okay. Okay. First bite of the episode. Okay. I was so hungry. <laughs> it could have been a terrible sandwich, which of course it's not, but I would have had the same reaction. Super tender. Yeah. It just has like the perfect amount of give. And I think the other thing is like when a sandwich is this simple, right? There are three things inside of the bread. Mm -hmm. It's all about the ratio. This is the perfect ratio. Yeah. Okay, let's move along. This is called the B and B. The exact same sandwich that we just had, but with it's a big on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The bacon itself is phenomenal. And it's Burger's bacon, which I don't know what that is. Who's Burger? Mr. Burger, please reveal yourself. Mr. Burger, we enjoy your bacon. <laughs> also, can we just, can we just compare? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock, how are you playing? This is our second sandwich. I'm not gonna, dis I can't like be rude to the sandwich. Uh, you know? It deserves that bite. So this one's called the pork roll, featuring one of our very favorite meats, oh, Taylor the, Ham. The king of breakfast meats. What is so special? Taylor, Taylor Ham, Ham is, essentially a emulsified pork. To me, pork roll is all about the tang. You get like almost a little fermenty, like sour in a good way kind of flavor to it. Okay. We're doing it also, not ciabatta, we're on a potato roll. Oh yeah, we're on the king of soft rolls. Yes. Martin's potato. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. I want to eat the rest of the sandwich so badly. Is it too early to start sneaking extra bites? You can never sneak extra bites unless, well, I can. Other people can. There's no repercussions for you, except you lose a little bit of my respect. This is the quintessential breakfast egg cheese meat sandwich. Yes, there's no frills here. Like, this is not trying to be fancy. It's just trying to be good, and it is. I do remember reading that this was hickory smoked sausage. Yes. And it looks extremely appealing. It smells a little smoky. Yeah. All right, All let's right. get it. It's kind of hard to eat in a neat bite, which I don't think is necessarily a criteria for all sandwiches. No. But for breakfast, I'm like not trying to struggle. Give me my sandwich in a easy as possible manner. Like, I just want like no, a, yeah. A no soft, stress. A soft vehicle for shoveling egg and cheese product. This is the chorizo egg and cheese, and it has a little bit of a salsa there. Okay. All right, do it. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
the salsa verde gives it a little bit of brightness, a little bit of spice too. Yeah. Of the five, what's your favorite so far? Pork roll, hands down. Hands <laughs> yeah. down. Same. All right, so we finished the breakfast sandwiches, but there is another aspect to breakfast here. There are two oatmeals on the menu. Which, like, who knew? Who knew? We knew, because we ordered them, actually, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you know my feelings on oatmeal, which is that I don't believe in buying them. Do you believe in making oatmeal? Yes, but I'm particularly excited because these look super, super delicious and creamy. Che, do you think... I might have to redact everything I just said about oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. It smells really good. In oatmeal one, you have still cut oatmeal, honey, almonds, and it looks like stewed apples. Perfect bite becomes much more interesting with a soupy product. Oh, it smells so good. Two apples. Wow. That's good. I'm sad we only get one bite of that. I know. Number two looks to be more savory. So number two has bacon, steel cut oats, yams, which roasted, do we think? Definitely. And then it uh, looks like toasted pepitas on top. Ready? Do it. We were just talking about bacon on oatmeal? What the hell? Have you no ever? No one told us that we could do that. <laughs> that is so good. I think I'm an oatmeal one girl. I think I'm an oatmeal two guy. Wow. Yeah, and we can't eat any more of it, which is a shame. Yeah, well. The crew gets it done. Glad it won't go to waste. Love the crew. Okay, we finished with breakfast. Sandwiches out of the way, oatmeal out of the way. We're on to the combos. Oh. Two combos, classic sandwiches. Before we address these two glorious plates in front of us, let's talk about soda real quick. Court Street makes their own sodas. They do. And they make four of them. Just like everything else that we've tasted so far, this is far from an average soda. Yes. And you can tell immediately, you've totally. got coriander, juniper, sage, bay leaf, black pepper, and chili, yeah. which is the original soda. Like a Fernet and Coke. Cheers. Classic. Very, very like botanical. Super botanical. So we're now in the section of the menu that is known as the combo. Classic deli, right? Multiple meats on one sandwich. Yes. For me, when I think of a deli sandwich, I think of an Italian combo, which we have here. Yeah. So on Court Street's Italian, there is mortadella, Swiss uh -huh. cheese, mozzarella, pecorino. Okay. Then you also have soppressata, which gives more of a salty, chewy, aged, funky flavor. Love that for us. And then on the bottom, you have mayo and oh, wow. Court Street's hoagie spread. To me, it looks like kind of chopped up jardinera mm -hmm. mixed with mayo, arugula, and then very thinly sliced white onion. And those, to me, I feel like are some of the most important parts of a sandwich like this because it's otherwise there's so much richness from like the two meats, the three cheeses, yeah. that you need something like crisp and peppery totally. and fresh to cut totally. it all. Mm, that's so good. The American combo here is ham and turkey. Okay. With kind of like a cabbage slaw, pickles, and then a couple slices of yellow American cheese. So this is our first comeback sauce sandwich. I think they use Duke's mayo, Heinz chili sauce, onion, lemon, spices. Yeah. We'll see it many times again. Okay, let's do it. That's such a phenomenal sandwich. Okay, as someone who had no preconceived notions of what an American combo was, yeah. delicious, perfectly balanced, yeah. would order this any day. Do we like the American over the Italian? Yes, I would say it's a oh, we strong do. yes. Oh, interesting. Do you? Yeah, I, I think I am going to go for the Italian. Oh, uh, we're on to the next category, right? So excited, what's that? The it's toasty the ones. toasty ones. This category is toasted sandwiches. So hot sandwiches on fried slash griddled bread. What a fun category of sandwich. Also, let's address, we've moved on to a new beverage. Oh yeah. C2C club soda. That's nice. Very, very subtle That's salt. Nice. So the grilled cheese. Oh my If you God. ask anyone at Bon Appetit how to make a grilled cheese sandwich, the answer will vary, but the one thing that will always stay the same is that you swipe mayo on the side of the bread and fry the bread. The mayo that's applied to this bread is tomato mayo. Okay, let's. I think I'm getting better at this. The Reuben for those that are not well-versed. Rye bread, Thousand Island dressing, uh, but here, comeback sauce, which we already talked about. Kraut and corned beef. So good. Simple, all right. Okay. All right, I do love a Reuben so much. Rye on a Reuben is like, that's where it's at. The meat itself, like I'm hard pressed to choose an option of this with turkey. We have to, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the exact same thing, but, but with, with turkey. roast turkey. Yeah. I kind of like that better. 
Is it just because the turkey is so damn good? Perfectly seasoned, sliced, not super thin, thick enough to have like, when you take a bite of it, you recognize it's well cooked. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Okay, the delight. We're still working with rye bread, corned beef, there's purple cabbage coleslaw, full sour pickles, and comeback sauce with Swiss cheese. I have a lot of opinions about coleslaw. But this is mayo based, short chop, not like very long strands, and a little bit sweet. So I think this coleslaw is doing its job. Yeah, this was this was phenomenal. Okay, let's do the turkey version. Go, slingshot, engage. Um, oh, no. Don't like the turkey version of this one yes. as much as I like the corned beef version of this. I totally agree. Inside here, yellow mustard, and then it looks like there's bacon fat confit pork shoulder. Wow. And then heritage ham. Okay, so you're basically talking about pork cooked in pork fat, put in a sandwich with cured pork. Okay. All right. Do it. This is a lot of pork for me. Not even just a lot of pork, but like a lot of the most flavorful pork. All right, the toasty ones. We're both going to agree that the delight is the clear winner in this category. Yes, 100%. The original delight with the corned beef. Yes. So good. Toasties are done. Now we're moving on to sandwiches with fish oil. <laughs> I already feel better because there's so much lettuce. It's a lot greener of a category. I just feel like a lot more calm. I, I've realized like from the last segment that hot sandwiches are are like a lot for me. <laughs> also, new oh, beverage alert. Yes, so excited. So this is the Court Street take on celery soda. It smells super, I mean, it smells like a head of celery. Yeah. Wow, this one is extremely vegetable-y. Yeah, it's so refreshing. Where do we start with our fish? I believe he said this was tuna berry. So obviously there's tuna salad here. <laughs> and then horseradish mayo up top, so it's gonna bring like bright spiciness. Cranberry sauce down low. Crazy. Arugula, and it's on Sullivan Street. Stecca, doppio bread. Apparently stecca means stick. It's on stick bread. Yeah, all right, here we go. Did you have any doubts about the presence of cranberry sauce in a tuna salad sandwich? No. Like, weirdly, me neither. Lock sandwich, stick bread, mayo, looks like pickled onions, arugula, potato chips, and cured salmon, wow. From the beginning, it just, it looks so beautiful. But also, if the, I see potato chips on a sandwich, I'm in, okay. All right. Oh, wow. I would eat this over a bagel. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Damn, this is so good. That's <laughs> like insanely good. Pickled O's really are doing it for me. That to me, that is like the easiest step up of, of anything you can add to a sandwich and just like immediately make it better. Pickled onion. All right, should we go? Should we just do the carousel? The old fish sandwich <laughs> carousel. This one is called the Yasha. So oil packed tuna is that layer of fish that you see. <laughs> then we're working with radishes, pickled onions, arugula, and oh, oh green, green goddess. goddess dressing. Nice. Perfectly lovely. This gave me exactly what I was hoping it would give me, but it didn't surprise me. If you like oil packed tuna, you will like this sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a tuna lover's delight. Yeah, the tuna lover's delight. All right. Carousel. Round the Mary. You only order a sandwich like this if you're like, I love an anchovy. Totally. This is lettuce, arugula, radish, anchovy. I know, at this point in our journey, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is so salty. I feel extremely neutral. I would feel extremely neutral if I liked anchovies. Yeah, the person who should order the sandwich is the person who like really, really goes ham on anchovies. Yeah. All right, our last. This is the sleeper sandwich. Sardines, lettuce, and arugula, mayo, white onion, radish. Stick bread. <laughs> Again, perfectly lovely. I like that a lot more than I liked any of the others besides the sandwich. Favorite in the category, Jay? The lox. Lox. Okay, what's yes. next? Next, we have cold cuts. Oh, nice. I don't know if you can tell, but I've really, I just got my second You're turning right a back. corner right now. Okay, let's get these out of here. We got cold cuts coming up. This is my favorite category, I think. A lot of heavy hitters in here. Heavy How hitters. How do we even pick? How do we even pick? Should we start with the classic? Ham and cheddar cheese. And cheddar. And then we have a kind of spread on here. Yum. Pickle Dijonese. Pickle Dijonese. This sounds awesome. Um, and then just some uh, romaine lettuce. Really nice lettuce. Okay. 
Circle de Janais, mm -hmm. where it's at. Counterclockwise, clockwise. Let's go uh, counter. Okay, so this is one of the roast beef sandwiches. It has French as fried onions. Um, I believe it has some horseradish mayo and arugula, both of which are just like peppery, yeah. yummy, perfect compliments to roast beef in my mind. One thing I forget I feel every time I eat the sandwich is I love horseradish so much. All right, um, let's keep it moving. All right. This is the Caesar Pleaser romaine lettuce, onion, radish, Caesar mayo, roast beef, Caputo's roll. You had the saltiness and the crispiness of the French's, mm -hmm. right? And those are like very salty, so that's added seasoning, plus the horseradish. When you take those things away, this is like a very clean sandwich. Turkey is inherently just so much leaner. Okay, sweet pickle, arugula, white onion, mayo, turkey, Caputo roll. Arguably just as austere as the guy we just had. Yes, but... Why is it so much better? It's so much better. I think it might be sweet pickle. The turkey itself is well seasoned. It is superior turkey. A John is literally anything. Oh, cool. Any noun. So I'd be like, pass me that John over there. What? Or I just went to the store to get the John. But what is the John? Any noun. I could be like, pass me that John, meaning your celery soda. I could be like, pass me that John, meaning the sandwich that just so happens to be called the John. The John is anything. Seems like a deeply unproductive article. You're not wrong. Look at the amount of cheese on this sandwich. So good. Okay, Caputo's roll, romaine, pecorino romano, mozzarella, Swiss, and then roast beef, the proprietary hoagie spread, and then mayo, and the other half of the roll. All, All right. right, thoughts and prayers. I mean, that's just what you have to do to roast beef. Mm-hmm. The John is good. You love this sandwich, I right? I love this sandwich. One more One in the category. One more in the category. We got your boy, the Ollie. My boy, the Ollie. All right, the Ollie. So you have roast turkey, which yeah. you've had many times before already today. Yes. You have the broccoli rob, which I believe has like some chili flake and that kind of thing. Sure. Provolone cheese. And then sriracha honey and mayo. This looks so good. I mean, come on. This is the first spicy sandwich that we've had. I was actually just thinking the exact same thing. There's just something so genius and elegant to me about this combo. Yeah, I am now viewing these ingredients in a totally different way. The Ollie. The Ollie. That's my vote for best in this category. Same for me. We're moving on. Our next category is unfortunately called <laughs> Hot Meats. Who did this? I think for the sake of our digestive health, we should get up, maybe like do a lap outside, five minute breather, walk a little bit of this off. Dive right into Hot Meats. And get back into the Hot Meats. So see you guys in like two seconds. Oh. This is the heavy hitter category for me. I mean, we have our first double decker. Correct. This is also where the sauces start to get out of control, messy. How do we even go about? This is, this is so very good. Very good. This is what real ginger ale tastes like. Yeah, mm. it is spicy. Spicy, but also it's got cardamom. It's so nice. Chili pepper, lime. Oh, delicious. Okay. Okay. Jay. Yes, I'm here. Let's just. We just need to go. Can we need you? To yeah. Do it. Why don't we start with a soft one? So, number one, it's a sandwich that's on garlic bread, which is amazing. Short rib, roast broccoli, kimchi, and mayo. Meaty component, something super vegetal, mm -hmm. the roast broccoli. Yeah. You have something spicy in the kimchi. kimchi. It's delicious. Yeah. Because you're adding complexity to a sandwich that's based in a really rich meat. In my opinion, it's getting warm. Wow! Oh. One more sandwich uh, was dropped. There is, if you look in the menu, you'll see a little portrait of Jonah Hill up there. Jonah Hill, he likes Court Street Grocers a lot. He made a sandwich here. They put it on the menu. We were not told about this we sandwich. We weren't told about it. Are I we mean, gonna, were we gonna pick a battle between 35 and 36 sandwiches? No, at this point, throw them on, whatever. I think we should move on to we the Jonah Hill. We should respect Jonah Hill. Let's get Jonah By off. eating him while he's hot. So, corned beef. Yellow mustard, pickles, and Double American, American cheese. All right. I want to know what mental state Jonah Hill was in when he <laughs> conceived of this sandwich. That is hedonism in a sandwich. You know, it's like everything good, but also bad. Okay, this is the macho man or woman. Full name. Full name, garlic bread. Then we have pork shoulder, cheddar, coleslaw, and pickled jalapenos. Plus the Court Street duck sauce. 
It needs like some kind of acid in there. The pickled jalapenos aren't doing it for me. I agree with you. I did notice that this is very sweet. Mm -hmm. The turkey club, you'll notice, has white bread toasted, mayo, lettuce, the same bacon that we had a couple times previous, then sliced roasted turkey breast, and then on the bottom, confit dark meat turkey that's shredded and then put on the flat top and crisped. It is an absolute game changer. This is too much for me. <laughs> if I were to describe that, that sandwich in one word, it would be Chunky. heavy. I forgot about this sandwich. This is interesting. Pickles, red peppers, mayo, catskill sauce, caputo's roll, unidentified cheese. We're not sure what it is. Am I carrying Could the team I just on this one? Watch you <laughs> eat two bites. Mm. Whoa. That was not at all what I thought I was going to bite into. I really like that. It's so soft. Very Everything soft. Everything is so soft, including somehow the bread. Two more. Ultimate Warrior. That's me. That's Che at this very moment. So this sandwich, the Ultimate Warrior, roast pork shoulder, garlicky, broccoli rob, and provolone cheese. This also adds pickled red peppers and then pecorino, so another layer of cheese and mayo. I like that a lot, but not near the top for me. The confit meat thing at, at this point, like that's making it very hard for me. Yeah. But I also think that I have a hard time with pecorino. The Scott Farkas. The Scott Farkas. This you, is a good one. Do you know what this is? I mean, come on, it's a sandwich with Zab's Voodoo. Yeah. Inside the sandwich. What else is happening here? Uh, and Romaine don't lettuce say the C word. And con feed. The turkey, crystal hot sauce, banana peppers, Zap's Voodoo chips. Well, I have high hopes. I officially have the meat sweats now, by the way. Yeah. I'm, I mean, you and I are about to look like the wax paper that. they wrap the sandwiches in. Yeah. I hate vinegar hot sauce. Crystal, Tabasco, I don't want it, need it on anything. Oh, hard disagree. I do think time and place for it. And I think that the nice thing about something super vinegary, it's like one of the only things that can hold its own next to something as insanely rich and fatty as home feed meat. Okay, what was I'm number one? <laughs> what was number one? The one we agreed on the most. I think that Exmo there is. Yeah. Yeah, same. The Exmo, kimchi, roasted broccoli, short rib. Yeah. On garlic bread. On garlic bread. How are you feeling? I feel like we've talked a lot about my feelings. Yeah, I felt better, that's for sure. This is easily the most challenging episode. Oh, really? Oh, that makes me feel so much better. No, all this of a is easy. Like the amount of bread and meat is kind of crazy. Now we only have one category one left. Category we made left. it. Are we doing it, dessert? Are you trying to dig us into a deep roll right now? We have like five more sandwiches to eat. Really? <laughs> in the vegetables? Okay, all right. Bring it on. That's my category. Let's get We're these out. Let's it. get the veggies in. You're like, oh, it's vegetables. Yeah. But then you're like, oh, no, the vegetables are just treated exactly the same way that the meat is treated in all of the other sandwiches. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> so this is the veggie classic. Mushroom and black bean patty, American cheese, lettuce, white onion, and comeback sauce on a potato. I don't love a veggie burger. Comeback sauce goes a long way. In this particular application, it's really weirdly reminiscent of Big Mac sauce. Yeah, special sauce. So the broccoli Reuben is essentially the Reuben, which we ate earlier today. Same bread, same sauce, same kraut, but instead of corned beef, it has roasted broccoli. By no means a healthy <laughs> vegetable sandwich. I'm excited to eat this. Okay. You think it's going to be a lesser version of something that you already know is great. But I think when you see the Broccoli Reuben as its own beautiful entity, yes. it just is there waiting to surprise you. This is basically a vegetarian version of the Italian combo that we had at the very beginning, except instead of all the meats, the mortadella and the sorpresata have been replaced by planks of roasted butternut squash. And then everything else is more or less the same. You've got Swiss pecorino, mozzarella, uh, mozzarella the hoagie spread, the arugula, the white onion. That's nice. Sweetness of the squash plays really nicely with the olives and the peppers, the onions, little brightness. In terms of like balance in a sandwich, mm -hmm. that's pretty damn good. This is the Ali flour. So you still have the broccoli rub, the sriracha honey, the mayo, the cheese. Yeah. And now you just have some nice cauliflower. You have cauliflower in there. instead of turkey. I mean, this looks so awesome to me. Okay. Oh, I just hiccuped again. <laughs> oh. 
That is so good. How are you liking the olive flour versus the olive? I think the turkey does a little more for the sandwich as a whole, mm -hmm. but the cauliflower is quite nice. Yeah, this may be the best thing we've eaten. This sandwich sounds so good. It's called the Uncle Chucky, cauliflower on the base, and then we have pumpkin seed romesco. Which means it's like red pepper, pumpkin seed blended into a smooth sauce. Yes, white onion, arugula, sumac vinaigrette. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is so good. I'm so happy right now. Ugh. Okay. Okay, final beverage, final sandwich. The yam and cheese. We have roasted beets, yams, arugula, pickled onions, a whipped goat cheese, and then sumac vinaigrette. Okay. Do it. Jeff, goat forward. <laughs> Not my favorite. Same. I really wanted to like this, but I think that like this to me is a cousin of the vegetarian. Yeah. And it's just like the vegetarian does it better. It does. It does it better. Okay, best in this category for me. We're splitsies on best in the category, dude. Uncle Chucky is my guy. I'm a little torn. I sort of want to go with Ollie Flower. It might be kind of hard for us to pick our three favorite sandwiches, but we need to. We need That's to. That's the whole point of this show. We need to. Let's get these off the table. We've got some, uh, some thinking, some deliberating to do. Okay, Che, final count. Four sodas. Mm -hmm. We each had a different favorite there. I went ginger, I you went, went celery. Sorry. Two oatmeals. Literally forgot about the oatmeals. <laughs> we also had different favorites there. And then uh, just a cool, casual 36 sandwiches. Can you just like say so that everyone knows that this was extremely hard? I will go on record and say this was, from a body perspective, the way that we feel right now, the hardest episode so far. So now what? So now. We have to give the people what they want. We're starting with the grail. This is the all-star, the MVP. This sandwich is the reason you are coming to Court Street Grocers. It's our number one pick. Che, please, what is it? I'm so excited to say that it is the Ollie. Ollie? That's roast turkey, broccoli rob, sriracha honey, mayo, and provolone cheese on a caputo roll. In 36 sandwiches, no other one was as singularly surprising, unique in its pairing of flavors. Yes. Bitterness, sweetness, for all these reasons and more, like, gotta be the Ollie. Okay, next up, this is the number two, the second time around, the next time you're in. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the delight. It's 100% the delight. It says it all in the name. But you have that rye bread, super buttery. Mm -hmm. You have corned short rib, which is, uh, it shows up on a couple sandwiches here. I think that's one thing that Corsi does really well. I enjoyed it every time. And good old fashioned coleslaw. And third, the dark horse, the hidden gem, the regular's order. Gotta be the smoked salmon. The smoked salmon was so good. Which we're not giving points on for the name because <laughs> no. frankly the name is like not very great compared to some of the others that we've seen. Correct. However, as a sandwich, just like everything that you would imagine a Court Street grocer's mind would invent when thinking about like how to make a classic bagel and lox situation and turn it on its head. Yeah. It was so delightful. Do you want to come back tomorrow and eat them all again? Great, what time? Call time's eight o'clock. <laughs> okay, Christina Che, would you say you filled your sandwich quota for the day? I filled it for like all of 2020, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well in that case, I will just offer my thanks for going on this journey with me. Oh, thank you. This has been One of Everything at Core Street Grocers. I'm Alex Delaney. And I'm Christina Che. Bon appetit.